Award-winning local musician is paying tribute to a robot hero from a television series that debuted nearly 50 years ago on Kiku TV. And that robot hero is Kikaida. <laughs> KITV4's Maloko McDonald reports Brian Tashima is moving forward with a musical celebration to commemorate the series' 50th anniversary. was a kid in Hawaii in the 70s or 80s might have gotten hooked on the heroic antics of a new kind of android superhero, Kikaida. If I'm not mistaken, it was the first um, like Japanese, I guess they call it tokusatsu, you know, kind of the uh, special effects superhero shows to, um, to make it from, to be imported from Japan to Hawaii. I know like in Japan, I think they had um, like other things that were more popular, like Kamen Rider and uh, Ultraman. But I think Kikaida was the first one that we got in Hawaii. Brian Tashima is a former Hawaii resident and Nahoku Hanohano award-winning artist who's living and making music today with his brand new band Second Player Score in Washington State. Yeah, we used to get out and play live every once in a while, uh, mostly around you know the Pacific Northwest area, in, you know Portland, uh, up, up to Seattle and stuff like that. So um, I think uh, the biggest show that we've done so far is we opened for uh, Jonathan Davis of Corn. Uh, when he played at the uh, at the Crystal Ballroom in Portland. When gigs were canceled during the pandemic, Second Player Score hit the studio to record some new songs, and they felt inspired by their youth. You know, we kind of do a, you know, a bunch of different styles, you know, but mostly rock, rock and punk. And uh, we've been together since uh, 2012, so 10 years now. And uh, we actually haven't played live anywhere you know, since, uh, since COVID. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we've just been kind of focusing on, on recording and so that's, this is this is one of the projects that we did um, just in the past, you know, this past year was uh, you know these uh, the Japanese language songs, including the the Kikaida song. Toshima admits he's a big fan, which is why his band recorded a cover of the show's theme song, Go Go Kikaida. Like I was a huge fan of Kikaida when I was a kid. Um, I. Apparently, I, I volunteered, I spontaneously volunteered to sing the Kikaida theme song uh, when I was in kindergarten. Like, I think the teacher was doing something completely different, and I just sort of like totally interrupted her and said, hey, can I sing this song? And she was like, I, I guess. <laughs> and so, I don't know why, just for some reason, I was just you know, motivated to do that. Toshima says Kikaida might have been more than just inspiration. I, I think kind of subconsciously that was sort of the beginning of my career as a, as a performer because like, you know, um, Kikaida, you know, the robot, his, his human form, Jiro, used to play the guitar and, you know, he would announce his presence to the monsters by, you know, by playing a guitar, standing on top of, uh, you know, like a building or a water tower. Well, the song became an instant hit and Toshima says he's gotten a lot of plays through Japanese streaming services. Uh, if you go to our website at secondfairscore.com, uh, we have a link to all the uh, all the streaming options. Um, most of them are actually exclusive to Japanese platforms. So, but if you're, if you're in the states, you may not be able to get onto to most of them. But um, one of the platforms is, is a YouTube uh, YouTube Music, and you know that anybody can get onto that. Moving forward, maybe the Android Kikaida is the hero we always needed. There's kind of an undercurrent of like sadness or pathos to it because I think like Kikaida, he was like a flawed hero. He wasn't he wasn't perfect. Um, the whole his whole mo basically was he was supposed to have been originally uh, an evil robot, um, but you know he had this you know, circuit built into him that you know, that made him good, but it was uh, incomplete. Malika McDonald, KITV4 Island News. Well, I wasn't here for the Kakaida craze, <laughs> but you telling me how popular oh, this show. Oh yeah, so many people were fans yeah. and. Your husband can sing the song. My husband can sing that theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I'm not embarrassing him, but yeah. Maybe they'll bring it back one day. We'll see. <laughs>